You have to try and stretch every dollar, right down to the cent. I drink like probably once every three months. It's not coming short from spending it up large, it's, it's coming short because um, there's other things that, you know, require money. Reading revision at Rowandale School in Manurewa, South Auckland. What's this label? Bass. 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 Part-time teacher aide Catherine is helping the kids make real progress. But back at home dealing with her own finances, it's a different story. So, 5.30 um, rent. The single mother of three juggles her part-time teaching with part-time teachers college. I have 110 for my car. And that means not much money coming in and plenty going out. 825 minus 736 equals 89. 89. $89 for food for a week for a family of four. Yeah. It's a lot. No. So why is it so tough when Catherine gets a part-time wage and support from the government? Is she doing something wrong? Is she wasting her money? We put her budget under the microscope. Adding together wages, family tax credit and accommodation supplement, Catherine's total income is $825 a week. When it comes to expenses, Catherine's rent, bills and car costs total $736. And no allowance has been made for any insurances, repairs or emergencies. Subtract expenses from income and Catherine is left with a grand total of just $89 for food and all those one-off expenses for her family of four every week. How tough is that? Really tough. Sometimes I, when my kids aren't around I'll, I'll feel a little, bit, a little bit down thinking oh, I'm just working for peanuts. So is there something Catherine's not telling us? Could those people so eager to find fault and lay blame have a point? Would you say you wasted any money? I try not to because there's no money to waste pretty much. You have to try and st stretch every dollar. How about like, do you buy much alcohol or cigarettes? I don't smoke and I, I probably drink like once in a blue moon. I'm, I'm not, a, it's, it's not my thing. How much money would you spend on, for example, fast food? As much as I'm struggling, every fortnight I give my kids what it, I get them to choose whatever they want. My son usually goes for McDonald's and my daughter usually go for Burger King. That's, that's their treat. Catherine's myth-busting discipline means her family really goes without. But there are times when she relies on her children's school to help out. So there's all our tins of food for breakfast in schools. We have a number of families in our community that, that struggle to make ends meet. And so for them, um, breakfast, lunch and um, some morning tea for their kids is a challenge. The head of the charity that provides much of the food to Rowandale's school and 700 other schools across the country said there's no question it's lack of income rather than wasted expenditure that's at the root of the problem. The need has increased for a whole range of reasons. Um, cost of living, food prices, um, food uh, budgets, other things that, that get cut um, first before anything else. So we are seeing an increase in the need for food, um, clothing and health items across the board. And for those who continue to say it's the family's own fault if they're struggling, Catherine has a crystal clear message. I will personally tell them to be quiet. <laughs> to just cut, cut all of that negativity out because... Um, it's, it's not all like that. There's a big percentage of parents that are actually trying to do something. They're trying to, they're trying to better their own lives, their kids' lives, their families' lives. We just need a little bit of help sometimes.